Hey everybody, welcome back to Bearded Goblin Gaming. On today's episode, we're going to be building a Dune Ornithopter inspired build with some Easter eggs and some of those uh, vitamin water bottles that I use in some of my other builds. Here's just some of the stuff. We got some uh, clothespins there and the Easter eggs, of course, in a couple different sizes. These ones I special ordered off Amazon for a couple bucks. But as soon as Easter rolls around again, I'm sure you'll be able to find them. Got paper clips, clothespins, and some wooden beads that I'm using for some different stuff. And a few different sizes of those clothespins, those little ones I think I found at the dollar store too. And of always and of course always foam board. What we're gonna do with this is we'll <laughs> there's those vitamin water bottles that I like to use. And just one of those rings cut in half for the actual cockpit front part. Just kind of making a quick measurement for filling the inside of the egg with foam just so it has a little bit more meat for the sticks and wings and stuff to stick into. So if you saw Dune, I mean, the the airships were some of the cooler parts of it, and I, I really enjoyed it. Some different size sticks. I, what I was trying to do is the, the Q-tips are hollow, and they'll actually fit the paper clip inside of them, so you can make like a little hydraulic ram. I go ahead and I build two here. I'll really only show the landed version, but every once in a while you'll see a, a jump of the flying one. Waiting for the hot glue gun to eat up. And a lot of this, uh, so a lot of my cardboard is uh, small single corrugation cardboard from those two pack boxes from the big box stores for cereal. Comes in pretty handy. I got a large box that's just full of broke down container boxes and things that I save. If you've ever worked with these Easter eggs, you know that they don't like to stay closed no matter what type of glue you use. They usually just pop right open. So there's that canopy top. It makes it look like a old helicopter bubbled front end. Now here I'm drilling a hole in the small one. I'm going to run a dowel through both eggs but be careful when you're working with these because the plastic is kind of brittle once you start poking holes in it and you can it'll explode on you pretty quick yeah if you use your imagination it looks almost like a little bird And jumping forward, we're going to be working on the front landing gear. Just using that little pin vise, but it doesn't take long before I decide to jump right over to the drill. And now the drill. I'm just putting an angled hole in these front feet for the paper clip to fit in and then I'll fit a piece of the q-tip stem over the top of that just to give it a little bit more mass and 
And then again, poking holes in the eggs, be careful. Not sure why the video is so jumpy. I just slowed a lot more of this down, but it took me quite a while to make these. I was planning on doing a base for the landed one, and I still might, but with a little prop in the back, it doesn't take much for it to stay up. Or I'm going to do the cargo bay doors open on this one. If you've seen part one, uh, you can tell that uh, the big four-winged ones actually had the bay doors where they're the transport ones with the extra seats and stuff. And the, Or I guess, uh, what would it be, like eight wings, I guess, for the big ones? And then the smaller ones. So I kind of mixed them. So it's only the two-seater, but it's still got the the cargo bay doors on it. Still need to work on my framing apparently. There you can see it stands up pretty good. Here we are with those wood beads. Uh, the small, I think it's an eighth inch dowel, fits right in there, just about perfect. With a flying one, I still had to drill holes into the egg itself so they wouldn't pull down on the bead so bad. I'm trying to figure out the front canopy piece was off center. And everything, you can see it's, everything's just a little bit off. We're working on the main fuselage. Most of that back egg and everything's going to be covered up. You're not going to see a whole bunch of it. I had a fairly good idea of what I wanted to do in my head. A lot of the panels and everything are really what took up a lot of the time. You can see with this in most of my videos, hot glue is basically the my main building component. You can give that tail a little bit of a taper. I probably could have gone a lot shorter with this, but the longer design I thought looked a lot better. Looks a lot more dragonfly than the short. doing this has given me quite a few good ideas for uh, that like the drones and stuff that I've been building oh there we go we're uh, starting to put the wings on just so you can kind of see them uh, just the one eighth inch dowel, dowel there then just some foam core but yeah with uh, these eggs building like this I've come up with a few ideas for 
the airships for my alien race that I'm building. So look forward to seeing those. Went and lost my ruler again, so I'm actually using a yardstick to cut all these for sizing. This is actually the panel lines for the top. I wasn't measuring for the wings yet. And then just cutting the taper, the corners off there. Kind of did a jump cut. I didn't really, everything's haphazard, it's just thrown together. It's all chaos. When it comes to builds, if I can't build it in a day, I usually don't do it. Taking that foam board and just making, just building out the body and giving those bug eyes a lot closer. Closer feel to a bug, I guess. Apparently I need to build a box so my arms stay in front of it. And just more panels, just cardstock upon cardstock. I think we're back into the stir fried rice box. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do to fill that gap. Alright, on to the wings. All it is is the 1 8 inch towel. I think they're about, what is that, about 10 inches long. And then uh, back to that cereal box. All the wings are 1 inch wide. And I didn't really, I didn't double detail them, so it's just the one side. But just extending those off the side with some masking tape to hold the sticks together. And on to the actual wing. And just that same shape for the wing, just again. And then just slim, uh, cut an eighth inch off the back of the strip and then cut it into smaller panels. And then every little piece that I cut off to make the gaps in between, I use those as the those little bridging pieces. This was the most finicky part of the whole build is just adding all these little things. It might've been easier just using Elmer's glue and waiting on the time because there's a lot of finger burns and everything that come with this part, but it seemed to work out. 